September has started, and that means that meteorological summer has officially ended. But before we dive into fall, let's look at the last few summer months in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. This summer in the U.S. has been marked by record-shattering heat waves and huge wildfires. For the second year in a row now, Buffalo has had a top five warmest summer coming in second place next to 2020. But the humidity and the rain are worth talking about too. Let's start off with this summer's dominant weather pattern. Several times over the last couple of months, really strong areas of high pressure have set up over the western Atlantic and the eastern U.S. Meanwhile, off to the north, an even stronger block really kept the atmosphere stagnant for long periods of time starting in July. And for those curious, the El Nino cycle was in a relatively neutral phase. That means large-scale weather patterns really didn't have much influence on us here locally. Buffalo's position relative to that area of high pressure set us up for a seemingly endless supply of humidity and storm chances. Just under 13 inches of rain fell between June 1st and August 31st, the beginning and end of meteorological summer. Most of that, seven and a half inches, came in July, which is now Buffalo's third wettest July on record. Well, the rain was certainly one thing and it was definitely impressive, but the humidity was definitely a part of the summer story too, mainly because it never really went away. I went back and counted day by day. This summer had 31 days with a dew point of at least 70 degrees for an hour or more. Air with that much moisture feels downright tropical. There are no official benchmarks for tracking humidity, but you know as well as I do, this has been a seriously soupy summer. And it's one thing to have sultry afternoons, but when the nights are warm and humid, it's restless and sultry then too. This summer had 24 nights where the temperature stayed in the low 70s overnight. That is now tied with 2016 as the most 70 degree nights in a single year. The 30 year average for Buffalo is nine nights. Six nights this year set new record warm low temperature records. This year's big number of nights above 70 degrees is part of a growing trend. This data from Climate Central shows that since 1970, Buffalo's average overnight temperature has increased 2.7 degrees. That same number two years ago was 2.4 degrees. So not only are our nights getting warmer, they're getting warmer faster. And that's important to keep in mind going forward because during a heat wave, if it doesn't cool down at night, that's a lot more stress on our bodies and certainly on the power grid. That's it for this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you soon with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek.